Hello students, in last video we already discussed about uh, derivatives of carboxylic acid. There we studied uh, what are acid halides, are esters, anhydrides, etc. Since esters having higher applications, we will see how to prepare those esters. So that is also already explained. Now we will see the mechanism. What is the mechanism for the esterification reaction as well as ester hydrolysis so already preparation is discussed in the last video only now i am going to discuss mechanism for this esterification and ester hydrolysis reactions we'll see what is that esterification reaction so where name itself says that is the myth, uh, that is a process where you, which is used for the preparations for preparations of ester so when you treat the carboxylic acids with alcohol in presence of any mineral acid so like uh, as um, and like concentrated sulfuric acid are in presence of dry HCl as a catalyst which gives the corresponding ester that reaction is called as esterification reaction so you can see one of the example I am showing in this slide that is when you treat the acetic acid with ethanol in presence of sulfuric acid which gives the ethyl acetate okay that is the product we are going to get that is ester but we don't know the mechanism how it this replacement of this uh, group takes place let us see but that by this mechanism okay mechanism which, which involves around five steps so we'll study one by one okay first step that is in the first step protonation of the carbonyl group of uh, carbonyl group by uh, that is from the acid which except the proton from the acid okay that is uh, whatever the carboxylic acid where hydroxy group this oxygen which except the proton from the acid so we are using the acid as a catalyst like a sulfuric acid or maybe hcl so from that which except the proton this lone pair electron which except the proton as a result we are going to get uh, this uh, carbonyl sorry this carbonyl oxygen which except the proton as a result we are going to get the protonated carbonyl group here you can see protonated carbonyl group so in the next step nucleophilic attack of alcohol molecule on the electropositive carbonyl carbon so here uh, you already seen there is a positive charge okay since it is unstable okay so this bond shifts when alcohol when it is attacked to this carbonyl carbon this pi bond shift which gives the lone pair electron to this oxygen as a result there will be a formation of new C, uh, CO bond takes place here you can see and here it is oxygen oxygen can form only two bonds when it is from three bonds which gets positive charge and it becomes unstable so to make it stable okay to get this stability here so in the third step what happens is transfer of proton to the hydroxy group so whatever the this hydrogen which is takes place uh, which is accepted by this Hydro, uh, hydroxy groups this oxygen where this lone pair electron which except this proton as a result once again the shifting of positive charge to this oxygen to the this oxygen takes place here uh, you'll get the positive charge so what we need in the next step is you can see to get the ester what changes should take place here okay so the next step is elimination of water molecule and the formation of protonated ester so here we already have hydroxy group and this is the added that is or dash that is the one more added group from the alcohol so what is the thing is uh, we we don't want this group right so to get the ester so you can see so and then fourth step what happens is elimination of water molecule so here this bond is going to break uh, as a result we are going to get the uh, we are um, elimination of water by the elimination of water we are going to get the this group okay so in the fifth step last of proton to form a ester so here in the fourth step only when the removal of water molecule takes place by, that is by the shifting of the lone pair electron here double bond formation takes place where the removal of water molecule takes place and so the, since this is the protonated ester since protonated ester is unstable this removal of proton takes place here the 
here when this bond breaks this lone pair electron uh, shifts to the oxygen as a result this compound become stable we are going to get the ester so in the this is the mechanism so at the beginning where carboxylic acids uh, which accept the proton from the acid in the first step then attack of nucleophile that is the alcohol then removal of water molecule and removal of proton in the protonated ester so those are the main important steps for the mechanism okay now we'll see ester hydrolysis so uh, in the previous that is what we studied is esterification here it is ester hydrolysis refers to uh, that is the exactly opposite to that so when you add the uh, like base r in presence of water where we are that is a reverse reaction ester get converted into to corresponding carboxylic acid and alcohol so when you treat or when you hydrolyze the ester in presence of water which gives the parent alcohol acid as well as alcohol that is uh, here it is i am written general reaction that is when you treat the ester in presence of water where we are this bond is going to break as a result we are going to get the corresponding carboxylic acid and the alcohol that is about the main reaction but now we'll see the mechanism how it takes place okay so once again here also we can write it as uh, five steps here i written in three steps uh, and that is we'll see it is exactly reverse of the acid catalyzed esterification of carboxylic acids in the step one protonation of carbonyl oxygen to give the resonantly stabilized structure one and two so this is the ester you can see protonation takes place from the water molecule or from the any base so thus oxygen which except so sorry this carbonyl oxygen which except the proton as a result we will get the protonated ester since it is protonated ester this is unstable so when this bond and, uh, uh, since it is unstable this pi bond shift to give the lone pair lone pair electron to this as a result we will get the positive charge here okay so in the second step nucleophilic attack of the water molecule to the proton transfer so since it is a electron deficient center where um water molecule attack to the carbonyl carbon as a result we will get the positive charge on the oxygen since it is a, there is a three bonds we will get the positive charge to remove this positive charge this oxygen which except the proton from the water molecule so this except the this or group of oxygen here or dash group of oxygen which except the proton from the water molecule as a result Uh, this is a structure uh, we'll get. We'll get the positive charge on the oxygen since it is having three bonds. So we'll get the positive charge. Once again, in the third step, elimination of ROH. That is nothing but the elimination of alcohol and formation of original acid takes place. So, but when this lone pair electron in the oxygen which shift to form double bond, this alcohol group is going to remove. We'll get the alcohol here. Since here it is a double bond. Once again, this is a protonated alcohol is not stable. This proton is going to remove. we will get back the lone pair electron to the oxygen as a result we will get the carboxylic acid that is about the mechanism so why we studied mechanism as well as preparation why we highly focus on this ester is which is having highest application you can see uh, like uh, for the juices we used to say they will add the flavors instead of giving like banana juice in they add some flavors so these are the, these flavors are obtained by the this ester so you can see so in some of in slide some of the uh, flavors i am shown here that is ethyl formate this is the chemical structure uh, that is the formula where which is used in the rum as a flavor like so they won't directly as in some of the juices they add the flavors those chemicals which gives the flavors of uh, this fruits in case of apple you can say you can see that is methyl butanoate okay so similarly few uh, example i have given here okay thank you